We start with President Joe Biden taking a victory lap of sorts Tuesday in North Phoenix. The world's largest maker of computer chips, Taiwan Semiconductor, will mark a milestone in the construction of its first advanced chip plant here in the U.S. The project was announced in 2020 under President Donald Trump. By 2024, when the plant opens, Apple reportedly will be a customer for those chips. That plant is the most obvious symbol of a building and jobs boom in Arizona's semiconductor industry. Our first guest oversees one of the leading sources for Arizona's tech workforce, Kyle Squires, Vice Provost and Dean of the IREF A. Fulton Schools of Engineering at Arizona State University. Welcome to Square Off. Thank you for having me. Your engineering schools have 30,000 enrolled students this year. It occurred to me that this might be one of the largest engineering schools in the country. Indeed, so we are the largest engineering and technology we are the largest engineering and technology college in the US. The largest in the country and most people don't even know that. Most people don't know it. ASU though has really rapidly grown. So we've really achieved a leadership position. And let's talk about semiconductor chips. Give it the basics. They're they're so important to our daily lives. Why do they matter so much and why are they so important right now on the manufacturing side? So semiconductors are literally in everything that we use and that will continue to be the case. And this is recognized federally through the CHIPS Act, right? Passed in August, signed into law. The result basically of a two year period of consensus building about what really matters, competing economically, advancing innovation and also protecting national security. All of those elements feed into the importance of semiconductors, manufacturing, creating workforce and research. And that news that Apple uh, is likely to use the chips made here, how significant should that be to Americans? So this is a very important moment for the state, for the country, because you have companies now able to source their chips for their devices here within the country, manufactured within the United States. And will the United States be able to maintain a cost edge over Southeast Asia where most, the vast majority of those chips are made today? So what will matter is manufacturing and really the high end opportunities to manufacturing driven by research and innovation. So we will have the opportunity through the CHIPS Act, through building capacity to drive manufacturing, through research and development, and building workforce, so yes, to maintain a clear competitive advantage. Now, President Biden is coming here to celebrate what's happening now, but Arizona has a pretty long history in the sem semiconductor business. We have a big semiconductor workforce already. How far back does it go? So we're very fortunate. That is the history, a large part of the econo economy of the valley is built on semiconductors, probably through the late 50s and 60s through today. A, that's put the state in a very good position to be favorable about now exercising leader th leadership through chips, as well as ASU. And so what's ASU's stake uh, in the CHIPS Act and in this industry here? So we have been positioning for this moment, not only over the past two years, but the years prior, through building out capacity, that is broadening access to students to produce workforce, that's one. Hiring these faculty who have these amazing ideas and being able to translate those now from research to practice to commercial, commercialization, building industry partnership, and building the physical infrastructure. These are all the elements that you need now to successfully compete. So that design piece, it seems to me, is kind of new because we've always been the factory where they made the chips, but not where they were designed. How big of a shift is that and how significant is that? It's extremely significant. We do not want to become literally a factory town. We want the manufacturing, the high-end manufacturing as is happening, and now we need to make sure that along with that, we're building out the workforce pipeline and the research and, and innovation. So let's talk about that workforce pipeline because as I see what's happening, it seems there's a change. There's a lot more emphasis on community colleges helping to produce workers as well as universities. Explain that shift. So when you look at the workforce needs in the semiconductor industries, it goes all the way from degreed engineers to com community college graduates to even individuals coming from trade schools. What matters now for us is partnership, creating pathways for learners currently in those systems, but also existing workforce to be ready for these jobs. So kind of get down and dirty with me as a career advisor. I want, I want to get into this business. I'm, I'm a high school student. I'm a career changer. What should I do? So now's the best time ever to be in a STEM field. So you need to be seeking out information and how can we help you? And when I say we, I mean ASU, I mean our partners in industry, I mean community colleges, we're creating those pathways so that 
interested individuals, you're raising your hand, we're reaching out, we're helping pull you through. Okay, I do have to ask kind of a related question because I know our viewers are very sensitive to, to this and it has to do with water. Chip plants are big water guzzlers. How is that being dealt with as this industry grows here? So the chip makers are also very sensitive to that. And so their technologies to manage water thoughtfully, sustainably, are among the most advanced anywhere. Fortunately at ASU, we have leading research in water management technology to help them. All right, and are you gonna be at the event on Tuesday? I am gonna be at the event on Tuesday. I'm looking forward to it. Kyle Squires, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much. You can see all of our Sunday Square Off coverage on 12news.com or on our YouTube channel. Go to 12news.com slash YouTube.